a wrecked Memphis police SUV after a crash Thursday afternoon in Whitehaven. It's a visual we've seen over and over. In May, this crashed cruiser set after a chase and this one being towed away in April. I got a report that there's 37 cars aside to Crump and only 13 of them are running. You know, I want to know how I can help you in this. Interim Chief C.J. Davis told City Council this week due to repairs, there are simply not enough patrol cars. Sometimes the officers don't want to put a car in for routine maintenance because they're afraid they're not going to get their car back. City Council suggests using MPD's event fees for more money for their fleets, but Sergeant Matt Cunningham, president of Memphis Police Association, tells us this issue started during the pandemic with supply chain issues. We sometimes get in high speed in situations. Sometimes we, we drive the cars hard to respond to a call um, or a pursuit. He says 50% of their fleet is not in rotation with about 170 awaiting maintenance. If an officer is tied up on a, on a crime scene where they're stuck for hours on end, the officer waiting to get in that car sitting at the precinct waiting on that car to come in. Possibly leading to slower response times for crime. It's just another another obstacle that we're trying to overcome. For your news leader in Memphis, Shay Simon, WREG News Channel 3.